and welcome to Demon Interviews episode 199. I tried looking up the Pokemon for that. Slow King, there is no jokes for him. Um, I'm your host, Springy, and joining us today is our very special guest. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Black Magic Cosplay. Um, I also go by Day Cosplay, either or. Um, and yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day or night or time zone to <laughs> talk to us here today. Of course. Um, so my first question is actually going to be, uh, how are you doing today? You know, it's a day. <laughs> um, college is rough, but you know, you get by it. Yeah, I feel that. I have a final exam I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> Oof. Uh, so the next question is going to be, have you ever been interviewed like this before? Um... Just a couple days ago, actually, <laughs> with Jen, so. Oh, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Look out for that video on a 95% sure that's on Cosplay Tea Time. Yes, it is. Awesome. I was like, I'm 99% sure I know where that video is going to go, <laughs> but I had to make sure. Because the one time it's not. <laughs> um... The one time it's not. Jen made a whole new channel and just didn't tell me. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but the next question is very hard-hitting, very personal question. Okay. Would you rather eat Cheetos or go on a hike? Eat Cheetos or go on a hike? Oh. I'm an outdoorsy girl, so I would say go on a hike. I don't mind heights. They're nice. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> I only know two words that's awesome and amazing. I mean it every time. Those are just the only words in my vocabulary. You're fine. And that's why I'm not an English tutor. I am a statistics tutor. Because <laughs> I know two words and that's it. <laughs> um, so, based off of your name on the interwebs, people who've seen our show before coming from your side of the internet or came from Jen's video. Uh, you are, in fact, a one of the mystical, magical cosplayers you see on the interwebs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have any other new cosplays planned to do that you're able to tell us about without me giving you a small fee of $5? Um... um... Right now, I think I have three, but at the same time, we will see how that goes. Um, I currently have one that I'm working on that is just because um, I'm going to do Athena or Aphrodite, haven't really decided on which one mm -hmm. right now. Um, other than that, the other two are Aisha from Wings Club, and then um, I haven't really decided on Demon Slayer, but somebody from Demon Slayer, <laughs> whenever I pick. <laughs> awesome. Amazing. There we go. There's my other word. I had to dig it out from somewhere. <laughs> um, so, as you talked about earlier, uh, on the interwebs, you go by mm -hmm. Black Magic Cosplay. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose that as your username and not, you know, Batman Fan 97 or whatever? Or something else? Honestly, I I put out a couple names and I allowed my um, followers to kind of pick for me. Um, I had that with day cosplay i had day cosplay by itself um and i just let them pick and they pretty much decided that they wanted black magic cosplay i was like oh okay cool um i think i've kind of grown to really like it as time has progressed it is pretty long 
which is why I also go by day cosplay because it's short. <laughs> and people can, you know, if they see me at a con, they can go, hey, day, and be like, what's up? <laughs> Instead of saying, hey, Black Magic cosplay, be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to go through a, a similar uh, shortening of the name because at first we we're instead of demon interviews, it was the people behind the TikTok demons, and we're like, that is very yeah. long and very yeah. narrow. <laughs> it's like ah, but yeah. So uh, then we had to change it. Uh, but shockingly, another cosplay question. Shocking, I know. Um, what was your first ever cosplay you've done? Oh, God. Um, oh, was it? I think it was, I did Female Sonic back in like 20, 2018. No, 2016, 2017. I did Female Sonic, and then that following year, I did Sailor Moon. Oh. And it was freezing cold for both Halloweens. But I think those two kind of kicked it off mm -hmm. um, on me cosplaying. I don't think I really stepped into it much until I went to my first con in 2019. Hmm. Oh, and I was Asuna. That was great. <laughs> Awesome. Possum. Amazing. I need, I need like, a thesaurus. Just, like, next to me. Just, like, flipping <laughs> through. Just, um, adjectives. I need, some, I need some good adjectives. Put them in the comments. I need some good adjectives. <laughs> um, before I forget, uh, I wanted mm -hmm. to say, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. If you have any questions for our lovely guest here, put them in the comments section below. And if we're getting back onto the show in the same capacity, then we'll ask them your questions. Yay! Uh, so, uh, back on topic, if I can find it. So, you, you, you touched on conventions slightly. So, I want to just ask, how many conventions have you gone to before? Or if it's easier, how many different ones have you gone to before? Um, different ones, I have gone to three. One of, two of which I've gone to twice. Um, and those were Four State Comic Con in Hayerstown and Blurred Con in Crystal City. Hmm. I love both of those near and dear. The third one I went to, that was my 2019 one. I made one appearance, and that was Anime USA. But I only made one appearance because all the dates following just don't line up with college. Just don't line up. <laughs> yeah, I I feel that so much. <laughs> yeah. It's but... unfortunate, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. One day. One day. Um... The next question is going to be um, kind of on the same topic of conventions. Um, are there any upcoming mm -hmm. cons you're hoping to attend to that you'd like to talk about? There was one I was going to do, and it was for state, but due to the fact that it is the day that I have to move out, oh, I don't think we'll be doing that one. <laughs> um, other than that... There's a couple that I'm kind of looking at, never really been to. Um, since I now live in Florida, I will try to be going to some of the ones down there over the summer. Mm -hmm. um, but I haven't really looked too much into it. Um, my mom wants to go, so I was like, I'll find something. Mm -hmm. But haven't really looked too much into it, but there's definitely a couple that I'm like, yeah, we, we can try, at least. BlurCon is also one of those I want to do. Um, most certainly, I love it. Year three would be great, but I don't know how that's going to work when it's kind of smack dab in the middle of January. 
I mean, not January, July. Jeez, words. Yeah. I mean, plus, also, there's too many J months. I feel like one of them could there be changed. There are many J months. One of them could be changed. Like, June or July, I, I feel like, could be changed. Agreed. Just be like, instead of July, Uli. Just drop J. There. Make it unique. Have a U in there. We don't have many U starting words. Exactly. <laughs> so, the next question uh, is coming from a past guest, a Justice Paldeus. Mm-hmm. Trying to say it. Hopefully I say it correctly. What is one of your strangest con experiences? Strangest? Um. <laughs> hmm. Oh. I think <laughs> my strangest one is I was I was at BlurCon and it was my first year and I was out getting something something to eat from one of the food trucks outside Mm -hmm. and i don't remember what i was dressed up as i think i was um an elf that day i really can't remember and i'm walking around and this guy comes up to me kind of random and he's kind of start it's not like a weird situation he was really chill Mm -hmm. but it was like that awkward situation of I'm trying to ask for your number. But at the time I had just turned 18. So I'm like, bro, back off. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he was chill. I mean, we talked about like um, the cosplay itself and, you know, his time there. Nothing weird. It was just he was acting awkward trying to ask for it, my number. And then I later got a text asking if I was going to a party that night. And I was like, no. I was like, bro, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't start until midnight. I'm sleeping. <laughs> so it was, it, was, it was strange, but it also was like we were chilling. I don't really know. But after that, I had, he never talked to me again. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Be careful, people. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I mean, that's true. Plus, also, something starting at midnight? Yeah, so uh. some, some cons have, like, after-party things. And, you know, they'll have one that's a little more, like, family-friendly where you can bring your kids. And then others might start at, like, you know, 8 o'clock. Might end at midnight. And then you have those after-party midnight to, like, 2 in the morning. That is definitely this con. Oh, God. I, You'll have the midnight to, like, 2 in the morning. Right back up at 6, ready for a new day. <laughs> I I barely stay up past 11 nowadays. Like, I can... <laughs> so, like, starting at midnight? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm not with that. Not. I, I can't. I just can't. The nightlife is very real. Yeah, I... Mm. No, I'm good. Um, yep. <laughs> but, um, so, the next question is going to be, would you keep a pet zombie or would you kill it? Would I keep a pet zombie? Yeah. I mean, I mean, if he's just a little guy, like, I mean, if he was a little guy, sure. But I don't, I don't know. Um, I will, I think I would fear of, like, you know how, like, they always have those movies that are, like, in 2019, there's an apocalypse. I feel like it would be that situation. <laughs> Where, like, I don't think I would want to make, like, the zombie guy suffer through being sick. Yeah. So I'm like, I feel like I would put him out of his little misery. But at the same time, I bad. think it's going to be cool having a zombie pet. Just have him like in like a glass box or something, you know. You're like this, this, this is my zombie, guys. He's pretty chill. Just don't stick your fingers like, in there. Yeah, don't do that. But you know, we play cards from time to time. <laughs> we, we play old man occasionally. <laughs> and it's shocking. He wins sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. 
does it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like a little mixed feelings. I think he'd be pretty cool, though. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's great. Uh, so the next question is also coming from a past guest, a Mr. Zoom underscore 2028. Mm-hmm. Bacon? Question mark. Oh, absolutely bacon. <laughs> I love bacon. I'm sorry, piggies. Y'all are so cute, but I do love bacon. <laughs> bacon is great. Uh, bacon is great. I'm sorry to my vegans out there. <laughs> hey, I more power to them, but you know, don't don't go taking away my bacon. Wait, don't don't take away my bacon. Yeah, more more power to you and your mission, but I, I need I need my bacon sometimes. Mm-hmm. I yep, need some, I need my bacon. I need my bacon bacon strips. <laughs> yep. That's probably yep. for dogs, but you know it's bacon. Bacon is bacon. <laughs> uh, so the next question is actually coming from the same past guest. A even longer and very complicated question. Okay, I'm ready. Peanut butter question mark. Only if I'm having like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Mm. No, just spoonful of peanut butter. God no. Mm. God no, y'all are better than me. <laughs> Interesting. Well, my next question is just us kind of just messing around a little bit and just being like, bacon and peanut butter. Question mark. I don't know if I can do that. I, 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 I'm like I'm trying to envision it, but it's not. It's not meshing. Uh we- no. We actually, uh, sorry, I, I'm so used to saying we, I'm just, uh, it's like I'm Venom or something. Um, I've actually tried it because I asked that question so many times. It just tastes pretty much more of what you have. Like if it's more bacon, it just tastes like bacon. If, if you, because okay. I ate, because I had it kind of like an ants on the log type of situation. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I like spread so I just spread the peanut butter on it. I didn't just go like bacon into the ch- Peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> that would be wasteful. Um, no, just a little bit. Um, we're not making that type of money. We can't just be wasting jars of peanut butter like that, can I? Um, right. But it was pretty good. It wasn't bad. I mean, it just primarily tasted more of whichever one you had and you know had in on the thing, and you put it in your mouth and you ate it. And it's like ah, it just kind of tastes more like crunchy peanut butter or <laughs> creamy bacon. It sounds weird, but it makes sense when it when you have it and you eat it. It makes sense, but it's yeah, it's yeah, whole, it's a whole thing, um, the whole experience, <laughs> um. So the next question is: I almost said the zombie one again. Uh, mm-hmm. Who is your biggest cosplay inspiration or inspirations if you have multiple? Ooh, ooh. Um, I currently, I think I really only have two, and, oh god, let me see if I can remember their usernames. One of them is, I think it's Cutie Pie Senpai, I love her, and then the other one is, shoot, I don't remember if it's Coco Afro or Afro Coco. I love them both. I've met Afro Coco before. She's a sweet woman. And so is her husband. They are like the sweetest people to ever meet and talk to. Um, And I think they're just a huge inspiration for just how to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? (sighs) Display cosplays, but still keep them like, cultural to them you know Mm -hmm. so like you don't have to wear a wig if you don't want to you know you can use natural hair if you please but i i I love how they you know hold themselves and present themselves and um just being nerds you know they're just having fun Mm -hmm. and so you know living their lives with doing work and kids don't know how they do it i would like to know (laughs) I need I need the tips. Yeah, Please. I feel that. I just like I have not done a cosplay thing in a hot second. I just need, I need 
that balance somewhere. Yeah, right. I haven't either. Yeah. I have not. I won't do it until next week. That's about it. Yeah. Um, so my next question is going to be coming from a past guest, a Harley F. Quinn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what are those? What are those? They're my crops. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Uh, so the funniest thing is that that question was given to me at the same time as the bacon question. Oh, great! In the same video. That's great. And the thing that sucks <laughs> about that video is that it got cut short, but I didn't know. Oh. It's still posted. It's a five-minute video. Oh. Um, <laughs> I need to cut that, man. I can't. Um. <laughs> So, um, the next question, do 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 do, do. It's another food-based question. <laughs> we have a lot of food-based questions, it seems. This is actually coming from our last guest, a winter underscore phoenix. Uh, how, how do you like your eggs? How do I like my eggs? Um, it depends. Uh, I think it just depends on my mood. Most of the time, I like them scrambled. Other times, I'll take over easy. Yeah. It just depends on my mood. I change it up every time. I get that. You know, how I like them is I like a lot of cheese, and then you take out the egg. <laughs> a lot of so cheese. Just, take the... just shredded cheese. That's all but, I need. You know, that's, that's great. <laughs> a lot of dairy. <laughs> Sorry, vegans and vegetarians. Um... Just, we're just hanging on today, it seems. Uh, we, we love everybody. Um, so, the next question is, what is, what's the best compliment you've ever gotten, either in person and online, or combination of both, or whatever you want to take the question? Um, I think the best compliment I've gotten... Oh, God. Mmm. Mmm, I got like three. Hold on. I, I think the best one I've gotten that kind of sat with me for a while and made me emotional was um it was more of a kind of bonding event and one of the questions was um who do you think is the strongest person in the room, but on the inside, you know that they're struggling. And I know that doesn't seem like a compliment, but when I had like someone touch my shoulder to let me know that they felt that about me, I think it kind of sat in as, well, dang, I appreciate you for thinking I'm like the strongest person in the room and I can handle my stuff, <laughs> you know, but for someone else to see it that I try at least mm -hmm. it made me feel really good and you know of course I got a little emotional I was like dang people noticed <laughs> I gotta do better <laughs> like what am I doing <laughs> so yeah I think that's my, my moment <laughs> I think that's super sweet in my opinion it was it was very sweet I kind of figured out who it was, and I was like, I absolutely love you. <laughs> um, so, this is another, this is, this is about your last one? Uh, I was good, I'm going to say two more on my list, and then we'll mm -hmm. go into, shockingly, more questions. Um, so, <laughs> this first one is coming from another past guest. It's not food-based, I promised. Um, <laughs> from a dark meaning of the gone. Who... What stereotypical character would you be in a horror movie? Like the final survivor, the killer, the first to be killed, the first one who's the one who somehow keeps not dying, you know, so on and so forth. Those stereotypes. Man, I'd be the survivor. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be, this is going to be really funny. 
but as a black person, I'm sorry. I, I, I move, okay? If you're not with me, I'm gone. It's just it's unfortunate for you. If I say we need to go and you're not with me, unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Very unfortunate for you. <laughs> it's like, oh, God, I don't remember what commercial it was for, but it's like, why can't we get in the working car? <laughs> Let's go hide behind the rusted chainsaws instead, instead of the working car. <laughs> yeah, just the horror movie logic of people is just insane. I refuse to die first. You're not ever going to catch me doing that, because I wouldn't be in that situation to start with. Exactly, yeah. And if you drag me into it, you are sure I'm not going to be there later. <laughs> you will take me out of this. If you drag me in, I'm going to go fix it. Exactly. You brought me into this mess, and now you're going to take me out of this mess. And not permanently. Exactly. <laughs> oh, golly. Um, so, the last question on my list that we're going to go for today is going to be, who is your favorite character to cosplay as? Right now, it's Siri from The Witcher. Awesome. I am so proud of that. As of right now, that has maintained my top tier, my my S tier of cosplays to do. It I got that cosplay done in a week, and it was the week of the convention. It was great. Awesome. And, and I, I did the wig all by myself. I was so proud of myself. I had no idea what I was doing. Hmm. I just hoped for the best. Awesome. And just so people at home know, is that the picture that you sent me for the thumbnail? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Absolutely. I, I hope it's not offensive that I did a toss the coin to your Witcher pun. <laughs> no, it's not at all. I would have been disappointed if you did it. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> see, I was like, I knew I had to do a toss the coin to your Witcher joke, because that's like a, as of right now, a very popular Witcher thing. Or, it is. Was, it is. Is it's a great song. It is. The newer than the new one from the, like the season two and everything. That was a good one too. Ah, uh, made me happy. Yeah. Uh, anywho, so now we're going on to the final four questions. Um, first of all, I want to ask: Do you have any questions for me as an individual or about the show in general? No, I think I think you're doing great. <laughs> Uh, uh, so now we're going into the final three questions. I won't keep saying that. Uh, first, uh, is going to be, would you ever like to return to the show either for another video like this or for another video that we do often? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. <laughs> because, I will uh, check my Wilson. <laughs> You know, your college schedule, my college schedule, other people's schedule, that's gonna be that that's yeah. That's hell on it. Yeah. Um because primarily we do we do normal interviews, and then we also do in character interviews, which are really fun. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, they're super fun. But uh anywho, next question is going to be who would you like to see on the show in the future? Oh, Oh boy. Oh, I feel like I don't know no people <laughs> for this question. Um Jen for the sixteenth time. <laughs> I love her. She's um great. You know, I'm gonna make it a little more like a general. I think another cosplay would be cool. You know what? You know, we'll try our best. I don't know. <laughs> it's very rare for us. It'll be hard. It's okay. But you know what? We'll try We're our best. They're out there somewhere. They're, they're out there, you know. They're on the lawn. and uh, I, I don't know why I went that route with that. Um, so the last question is going to be, do you have a question for a future guest? Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. And as you saw, they could be anything. The... <laughs> yeah. Whoa, hold on. Doesn't oh. have to be food related, I promise. Oh. Um, I didn't think this far away. A 
Okay. It's a stupid one, but it's only because recently I've been seeing Helldiver. Mm-hmm. So, democracy question mark? <laughs> I, mm, well then, that's a question. <laughs> that's a... If you don't understand it, you can't explain it. It's Helldivers. Well, uh, we'll we'll write that down and we'll use it. Uh, like I, I, I can change it. No, no, you're okay. good. Yeah, I I am happily. I like we have one about what's your favorite. Another question from a past guest, I believe, it's from Coronation. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite Disney princess? Tiana. Awesome. Love her. Well, I'm happy to hear that you don't have a frog in your throat after that question. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Uh, but with that, with that horrible joke out of the way, uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Don't forget to follow the guests on all the social media platforms. There'll be a way to get to most of them in the description below. And thank you so much for being here. I highly appreciate it. Of course. I was happy to join. Well, with that, I hope you all have a nice rest of your day. And at least I will see you in the next video.